your friends, it's time to see a little bit more variety. With one of each and every unit, it's the diversity. Hello and welcome to today's, to today's feature presentation. This is a best of three featuring Jibber Jabber Jobber in the south with the only commander you apparently need as OKW under these rules because this commander gives you Panzer Fusiliers and a Sturm Officer, meaning you have more infantry. Um, no one's ever going to build the Jagdtiger, unfortunately. It's just too big and uh, too heavy. For Feynmanville Approach Rework, the best damn map in 1v1 today. It's uh, such a good map and many of the players are enjoying playing on it. Inca Una, meanwhile, has gone for Recon Support Company, which is seeming to be the best USF commander under these rules, giving access to the INR Pathfinders, the Airdropped Combat Group and the M8 Greyhound. So yeah, it's, it's diversity rules meaning they can't use more than one unit of the same kind simultaneously. So only one rifleman, not three. Only one Raketenwerfer, not two, etc, etc. You can rebuild if it dies, but once it's on the field, it has to be a solitary man. To quote Neil Diamond. Okay then, so we've got our commanders. We will be going with a little bit of a... Possible commander termination action in the final, though, because these are definitely the meta commanders already established. But what is exciting still is how the players utilize all this different variety of units. People vlogging with first shots fired so far. Stone Pioneers push up to help out. Inka Una is an aggressive profile player. Jibber's meant to be a little bit more well rounded, but he's on the attack at the moment, and he's getting an early cut-off neutralization. May even get the full thing at this rate. Mortar needs to get an accurate round on it, possibly. Just to give it some damage before it can fully cap. No, he's going to get out of there. Clever, clever move. Rear echelon was coming up the behind. Don't know about Faction Terminator. That would be interesting, Jaman. And Pioneer's back away. They're looking to repair and cap at the same time with its Kubel compatriot, but the pressure's coming out from Inca. Not having lost any soldiers so far. It's a zero kill game at this point. Three minutes in. First guy to die, his name is Larry. And we're going to grieve for him. Or Helmut, if it's an American. If it's an a German, rather. It is easy to, to confuse the two. A lot of uh, Americans, especially in the first half of the 20th century, were of German ethnicity. It's very difficult in the First World War, fighting against Germany. A lot of Americans are wondering which side they'd actually be on, until of course the Lusitania was sunk. And there we go, Larry's dead everybody! And he's been trampled underfoot, jackboots crushing him. Exclamation mark. Win Co3 in chat if you want to play along and win, win a copy of Co3, you can do. Mortar. Kills Helmut there. Mortar pushes up as a capping unit as the 50 cal is going to be out soon. And the MG34 for Jibber Jabber Jobber. Romania versus the Netherlands in this particular cast. Mania being in Kauna's home. And the Dutchman being Jibber Jabber Jobber. Well, Jibber's okay in this case. He's more than okay. He's one of the best five players active in the world today. <laughs> no one wants to win. <laughs> Dow 3, Ragnar. You'd be losing if you got a copy, unfortunately. Victory point capped. Fuel kept into Inca's hand in the south. Meanwhile, Jibber has the northern fuel. Support weapon 
Let's consolidate the center, but Stern Pioneers surprise them. And do they get around the cone of fire? Yes, they do. That's a really good assault by Jibber. Lovely action on Famerville approach there, showing the house used to good effect. It's now got bushes on each side of it, basically making it an ambush house. The capture point is being overrun. Stone Pioneers low health here. Didn't want to be shot at by the INR Pathfinders, which would headshot them most likely. Is there healing up in base? That's no, that's a mechanized regiment headquarters. Stern Pioneers are retreating though, so they're gonna put down the med packs and then they're gonna repair the Kubel. And then the, the Panzer II Lukes will be on the field. First player to go Panzer II Lukes first today. We've had a lot of Pumas first. And it'll have good effect on fire. A little bit of premonition from Inca Una to get the bazooka on his lieutenant, however. Should help him considerably against the Panzer II menace. KD has gone in Jibber's favour so far. Inca's a little bit rustier than uh, Jibber. Jibber did win a minor tournament uh, last month. It was a tournament where none of the top five ML pod, um, rank players were allowed to play so Jibba being the 6th ranked ML player of course he won which I'm going to say this without wanting to be arrogant but I just can't help it shows you just how good the ML rankings are and uh, that's not really much of a boast because it is my job to do things in Excel literally, that's all I do and here comes the Panzer 2 Good effect on fire with supporting infantry. Lieutenant could get shredded here. But he gets past a little bit of light cover, helping him out. Mm, that could have been worse. Thanks, Ragnar. Stuck in reinforcement mode for that 25th manpower soldat. Let's drink some of this lovely coffee. Stern Officer coming out. Many abilities available to him. One of the best things about this tournament so far is we're seeing all of them. And you do, Gary. You really excel at what you do. And that's stopping air hitting a driver's face. Ah, Stir Pioneers with the, the Panzer Shrek. I held one of them on Tuesday. It was heavy. Check out my YouTube channel to see what I mean. Let's see if Relic and Sega is at the press preview event for Co3. Pretty exciting stuff. Capping coming in for Jibber here. Inca's starting to struggle. We do have INR Pathfinder Artillery on the MG34, forcing it off. We now got a Puma. I'm just loving this build order from Jibs. It's working well. He's gotten the right angle as well. Ink has done well there. Keeping the Sturm Officer away. We can't use that force retreat for 60 munitions. Quite expensive, isn't it, to be fair? I can confirm that I will be attempting to do Master League for Company Heroes 3. We don't know if there's going to be Observer Mode at launch, but we'll try it anyway. If there's a will, there's a way. We'll make tournaments happen. You're going to want launch tournaments and who better than the, uh, the Master League to present such a, an affair. It is led by myself, but there are many other people that do help out. And there have been many helpers over the years as well. You know, 
who they are, and they're too numerous to uh, reel off so easily. There is a credit section on the Master League uh, spreadsheet. Third an explosion. Ah, is that bazooka? And we've got a bit of congestion. They're going to try and gun down the lieutenant before the bazooka can do any more damage. Interesting from Jibber to try that. Throw an incendiary grenade onto the... Um, it's not actually a frag grenade, isn't it? A Model 24. Life was low. There's no one to finish them off, though. Stuart gets the fourth kill. Oh! Lieutenant pushes in. That's not a lieutenant, it's a Panzer II Lux. He begins with the letter L, but it's trying to kill the lieutenant. And the ambulance is hit once. Can it be hit again? Stuart backs into the situation. Ambulance goes down to the Panzer II, getting the kill of all things. Meanwhile, we do have some action down here. It's this Iron Ore Pathfinder that could be getting annihilated by Jibber here. May he might push back in to take it out, to be honest. Inca Una's really struggling. Jibber's gotten so much better in the last six months. Where did this come from? Well, he's kept up the assault. He clearly wants to be good at Co3. He is not uh, taking his finger off the trigger like a lot of tournaments players have. He's continued to get better. Right, more to help in Inca fight back. This wall is designed to help the Western player fight back because they didn't have anything like that in the auto match variant of this map. Michaels make it to the fuel points. <sighs> He's had double fuel against him. He's having to drop the combat group in to get that pack out, to, which will be good. So that's going to help him. But the lack of AT options. Oh, it's really going to hurt him because he's up against the Panzer II and the Puma. They're such a peril. Getting the captain now, meaning it'll be an M1 AT gun next. It's nice and probably wise to try and get that before he even picks the pack howitzer. Or maybe he could go for a rare bazooka upgrade on the paratroopers. It's not the most insane thing you've ever heard. It would actually help quite a bit against what he's up against. But of course, most players do go for the LMG upgrade. Panzer II looks back in action after having been repaired. And uh, it's going to add to his tally of 12 kills. Fighting back to get territory back. The Kettenberg is firing upon the tank trap. Missing horrendously at the moment. Oh, good shot from the Stuart. Is he going to get Panzer Fausted? Possibly. No. Paratroopers with those M1 car lines doing enough work to get rid of him. Looks like these. They were thinking of going for a flank, but no, they're just going to cap the victory points. Meanwhile, the Americans go for the centre, and here comes the Stuart going for the Lukes. This could be big for Inca. He gets it. Inca's back in the game, everybody. Taking out that uh, Panzer II. That was such a thorn in his side. It must feel so good to see the end of that thing. Let's get some high pinch out for a balanced game between equal competitors. Let's get a poll as well. Who do you think is going to win this one? Puma's going to go for the Stuart in the meantime. Riflemen going to have to run the gauntlet themselves. Here come the airborne. That's right, Apache Jacks. Hopes a lot out for Jibber next, showing he does have the Schwer, but it's not upgraded. He's thinking about getting the third truck out as well. Um, but no, he's going to keep putting the med packs down. Interesting. All I do know is that the Obers are on the field and their MG34 isn't too far behind them. Here you can see the M1 AT gun spawning. Well, I was thinking of it, DCS. I have already seen it today once. It was Inca that did it earlier today versus Findeed. Overs. Don't want to fall prey to the mortar. Oh, 40 manpower apiece. This lieutenant kills one of them. And as soon as the low health retreat them, it's such a 
Good way to play with Obers. Only fight with them when they're fresh and you'll have a much better time. Two balls going to be in a lot of pain here because he's gone prioritised vehicle mode on the Stewart. Captain's forced away meanwhile. I think they shout, get in the bush, protect the flank. But it certainly sounds like it. I wonder what they do ch shout. Hmm. There we go. Forcing everything off there. Don't want to keep up against that. And he hasn't been able to get the fourth, he's the fourth member of the squad. Ganesh Marsh. Goose, ah, Goose Step. Okay, if you say so. I'll take your word for it, Nylon. Lull and fighting at the moment whilst they make their next choices. Jibber's Jib still not gotten his authorization for pounces. Yeah, do a poll to someone. Need more moderators. I'll make Gary a moderator. Easy to do this. Mod. Gary. Oh crap, I've absolutely screwed that up. Hang on. Gary. There's something happening on stream. There we go. Meanwhile, first grenade is fought for the lies. Puma was taken out by a long range effort from the M1 AT gun there, picking up. A vehicle destroy critical. Um, to its tally there. Puma got way too hot and heavy into combat. Stuart did not get taken out, but the M1 was able to seek revenge. Jibber with um, crazy assault there, really, with the Puma. Went too, way too far forward. Do people expect going to win, of course, Gary? Use your new powers for good. See a big pushed away captain. Yet to get his brown and automatic goes for the fuel. Rickettenwerth forced off. Lieutenant's doing so much work this game, which is not a phrase you usually say. Here come the paratroopers. Hoorah! Forcing everything off of Jibbers. And could be the Cooper Vulcan soon to die. Will they target it? Oh, they've been grenaded. It's an incendiary. They don't want to stay in that for too long. Could have been worse, that could. Look at the health damage from the incendiary. Oh, lucky to survive, in all honesty. What a shot from the Stuart! What was that? That was a three folks grenadier shot from the Stuart. 12 kills now on him. Wowzer. Up in the North Mortars capping, so are the riflemen and captain squads. Panzer IV Alf J's on its way. Yeah, he's played well with the Stuart, hasn't he, Apache? I agree with that. And he's uh, reinforcing. Me is a beacon close, and there it is. Nice uh, parrot drop roll. Did it in the bushes. Ah, force treat used on the 50 cal. Jibber wants back onto the map. He's under a triple cap at the moment and a double fuel cap. It's not going well, let's say. The fall can't come soon enough. Oh, what's the Kubel thinking? Again, he pushes a vehicle too far forward. Jibber. No. Ah, oh, the pole is now up. There we go. He's figured out how to do it. Well done. Well Googled. Captain under pressure. G43 is extended. Gavaz pumping him down. Lieutenant's trying to hold the line. And Stuart gets hurt. Here comes the Panzer IV. This is Shirtson. Excellent camouflage. Surely the 50 cal's going to come under fire. Takes a long time, but there it is. Prioritised vehicle mode was on. That's what was stopping it. Back in 
database at the moment. It was made in search. He went straight for the cutoff. Rather than try and cap the fuel back, why not just disconnect your opponents? That's what he's gone for anyway. Ober's up to six kills. Beginning to have good effect on target. The squad surely going to go sit on the fuel. Maybe behind the uh, tank truck, perhaps. Stuart Vet 3. Now look at that mobility. Oh no. Here it comes. Those Ober's are in its sights. He's going to force away the MG first, but there's a Rakettenberg and a Panzer Shrek. Well, it was. That got dealt with quickly by the eight kill paratroopers, those double LMGs. Could have been worse. There was a cat of ever waiting. What a shot that was. Well, the poll's very even now. 9-8 at the moment. And Inca Una wins the poll. 9-8. To be honest, that's probably apt, well, relative to their ML success. Um, Inca being the slightly more successful player overall. Here's a best of three. Von Aston. Oh, you forgot to vote. And that's why... Uh, Martin Prince wins the class elections. <gasps> Jibbers unlocked the mighty Yag Tiger. That'll surely uh, win in the game. Obers in a place you do not see an automatic match on the beach. Meanwhile, we've got the para. Troopers dropping from the sky in the centre. And the Sherman soon to be on the field for Inca. M1 AT gun needs to get veteracy to it. It's getting closer. Oh, here we go. Stewart's going to cause some problems for the Obers. Ah, they were lucky with some of those shots, I have to say. And he feels like he overextended his welcome. So he's reversing the way before the Panzerfall can get there. And that's just good play. game so far it has to be said. So I'll say it. Ah, nice coffee. And obviously a forced off by a vet three lieutenant. Thirteen kills, not too shabby. Just seen a new unit arrive in the top left. Ah no, it's just this guy. Uh, when I said this guy I meant the person that just jumped inside the steward. I tried to click them and then the icon disappeared. Going in for the Panzer. Oh, nice shot in the rear there. Panzer 4 poor stuff. Do we have the repairing engineers? Yes, we do on the mechanized. So he should be back sooner rather than later. We even have the stern pioneers rushing back to base. So you'll see that Panzer 4 again soon. First going to take refuge behind the heavy cover. But to be honest, they should probably soft retreat, then hard retreat out of there. Oh, they're just going to hard retreat. The bush helps them out on that. Too many HD. This is the first big series of the day, to be honest. Should be all right. Rear Ashlands have overshot the mark down there. Don't know what they're thinking. They barbed wired off these. No, we put that in. Me and Cape and put that in. Yeah. Okay, it's fine. Ooh, damaged engine on the steward. Who can follow up? Is there anybody there? Doesn't look like it. Funny if the crew jumped out and then he got a force retreat off on the crew. That would be funny. Sherman comes back, keeps the Sturm Officer and his bag of tricks away from the fallen Stuart. Just as well. Oh dear. Ober's behind the sandbag. Where's that Panzer IV? He's gotten repaired quickly. And the Rakettenwerfer's coming. And the Panzer Shrek's coming. 
So that's why the Ubers are offering themselves a very, very juicy bait. Inca senses something's not right. And here's the thing that isn't right. Good thinking by both players. Didn't work for Jeva. He loses the crew veterancy there for the Rakatenverfa. Then, ah, he hits a mo um, an anti-tank mine. Sherman pushes in. Has he got the armor penetrating rounds? Of course he has. Is he going to get around the rear? Of course he is. I've never seen one of those mines take out a tank like this. Oh, there's that Panzer Shrek Stern Pioneer, though. This is a big moment. Who'll get the killing blow? The Sherman bounces. The Panzer misses. Panzer Shrek Stern Pioneers are not in a position to help out. No tanks die, but it was very exciting. Veterancy 2 dies for the M118 gun. Here comes the Stuart, the mighty Stuart. He's got prioritized vehicle engaged. There's a Panzer Faust possible, though. Inca's going in. Vision block damaged again and again and again. One shot required. He can't get it off. Oh, that could have been so close. Munitions were not there for Jibber, by the way. He had 20 at the time. He could have gone for that. Oh, what an encounter. That got the heart racing. That's the first real big moment of the Diversity Cup so far. Both players, well, Inca with the balls he plays. Jibber uh, playing aggressive in a, in a sense as well, keeping that stern pioneer in the, the, ang the action. But yeah, the Diversity Cup is now here, ladies and gents. We finally have some uh, real good high-level play on the field, and that's what we've all come to see. Ah, stolen Rakettenwerfer indeed. That's going to help a lot. Jim is having to rebuild. Fuel-wise, by the way, Inca's got a hell of a lot in the bag. So probably should get the Scott out, I think. Now he has the double-18 gun. Scott should be his next choice, surely. He has a lot of options, does Inca? Don't forget, he's still not built his crew, his pack Howard so the best betting units in the game. It's no longer one of the best. He's got nerfed, but uh, still relatively good. Yep, I agree, HT. It's a very nice army for Inca. Jibber's got some work to do in that regard. He's pulled out the ISG. Maybe to smoke shell the centre whilst he's down on his luck. Damaged onto the MG there by the Panzer. Can't invert for an M1 push forward. Sherman's gotten a lot of kills this game, 17 in total. Right here, doing some vital capping in the north. Off the Obers do the same in the center. really good in auto match, but in this format it's very good as well. Auto under pressure. Captain and Paratron is trying to deny that pressure. Meanwhile, in the uh, centre there's a battle for the fuel, just taking up the garrison at the moment. In the centre. Oh, where's the action? Got no right hearing at the moment after bursting my eardrum. Struggling to locate the action at times. Literally just lifting him, listening on left channel. Orange pests with the controversial views as ever. Oh, he's getting the oblong of. Terror out is Jibber. He cut a tank's head off and stuck its nose on its belly. It is indeed the Jagdpanzer IV about to appear. <laughs> it's a very good choice, isn't it? Sure, 
major artillery forces off the MG. That's four runs on to the AT guns yet again. Vet 3 Sherman's racking up kills, 20 and counting. Vet 5 for the Panzer Fusiliers versus Vet 3 Paratroopers. Here comes that Jagdpanzer. First force retreat off on the paratroopers, one of the better squads to decide to do it. And to four on 28 kills, veteran C3, chatter debating whether it will actually ever die. Yeah. fans in chat. Moves up to 16 kills now to get the victory points back under control. Mind you, look at the victory points themselves. 254 versus 239. It's pretty getting even out there, isn't it? Oh! Jagdpanzer's pushing up against the Sherman. It's been spotted for by the Sturm officer. The Raketenwerf is there to force off that uh, said Jagdpanzer, though. Would have needed maybe two shots, maybe one. I'm not too sure. Probably just about two, I think. Yeah, he's being cautious, isn't he? He wasn't cautious with his Puma earlier. Or with his Kubel. He often does that, though. I've noticed that in a few uh, casts that I've done of his, he loses vehicles unnecessarily when his play is relatively passive in other areas. Maybe it's what lets him down. Ah, now, Orange. Of course, he has some level of killer instinct. Have you seen his photo for GCS3 that we used for the poster? How can you tell me that man has no killer instinct? That's not what the police said after they saw the poster. They put a tag on him. Look at this DPS from the bars, the M1919s. So much work being done. Stibber's getting shredded. Inca's army is so much better. And all the victory points being wrestled from the Obersoldat. Think about it, it's five mainline infantry squads for Inca and Four for Jibber, if you can count the Sturm Officer, who does have 10 kills, so he's not doing too badly, clearly. Um, so kind of similar to a Folks Grenadier, I suppose, but he does cost two... Uh, uh, just see him as a Folks Grenadier without the ability to snare. And a few little tricks up his sleeve. So, ooh! That'll help out. We've got a squad wipe in the north. I'll work out what that was. Was it the Lieutenant just dying, possibly? It may have been the lieutenant. I can't see him on the top left screen anymore. Okay. Well, King Tiger is what I think they should go for. I agree with Elpern in that sense. Um, I just think the King Tiger offers a lot when he's not going to be up against uh, medium tanks constantly outperforming him on the edges of the map and then, you know, surrounding him and pounding him in the rear but it's so difficult to get there isn't it that's the problem it must be said as well Jibber has lost the Panzer 2 did he ever have the Puma if he had the Puma he's lost it no uh, yeah yes he did have the Puma and he's lost it so he's both lost both the units he got out of mechanized regimental headquarters um, that's why he's in the predicament he's in had he kept them alive, he wouldn't uh, be doing as badly as he currently is. That said, he is currently capping the victory points. Elper, sorry, Inca has clearly been repairing and healing his units for a while there. Jib has spotted the moment to get back on the field. Of course, yeah, lost. Uh, that was the one lost down there, wasn't it? 
Oh, nice shots from the Jagdpanzer. Getting it all important experience. If you vet that thing up, it's an absolute killer. As are most tank destroyers, to be honest. Apparently, heavily reliant on uh, veterancy. Possibly more so than some of the units are the tank destroyers. Manpower now for Jibber. Let's see his next choice. He has an 86 population cap. We all know the population economy of OKW is rather underpowered. If you look at what he has on the field for 86. Oh! Rifleman Vet 3 could be dying. Indeed they do! That's a good tandem operation from the Vet 4 Panzer 4 and their Veterancy 4 comrades, the Obersal Darson. Meanwhile, in the south. Hewitt's still alive somehow. It's only gotten four kills, forcing off. Must have swapped the crew, I imagine, for the Sherman. One of the reasons. I think Inkuna does do that. He swaps the uh, crews out. <gasps> Ooh, Panzer IV rushing into an 18-gun wall there. We didn't think we'd be seeing much of that in this one, but we certainly are. When we have a steal. Like we have had in this game. Oh, Sherman! Rushes into a Panzer Terror. <gasps> Got the M1 with the Sabot rounds. Mm, doesn't do the work. I was just checking it was called Sabot. It's rare that A gets a call completely correct. Yes, it is Tolga. I assumed it would be. But uh, there are other factions that have been seen to be viable. We haven't had many fair games so far. Did We did test it before we settled on the rules. And we felt it was okay to proceed with. Nice long range 18 8 there on the Stuarts. Sabot. Is it Sabot or Sabot? I'm going to say Sabot. Direct hit. Direct hit, they say, apparently, there on the Obers. They're going to have passive sprint soon. I can't wait to see the sprinting Obers. I love those guys. Oh, they're rushing into INRs. Not sure they want to do that. There's some heavy cover here, though. That'll certainly help them. Ah, the Blenkopfer. Here comes the Sherman, though. It does have the uh, HE rounds currently in action. And yes, the Stukazufus. Not a bad choice if the first shot's a good one. That first shot's always more powerful than any other shot you'll do because it has the element of surprise. There have been Brits today, just not on my cast. I'm only cast two series, though. It's not too bad in this uh, format, I believe. If you go the Assault Tommies, probably. lend lee Spritz, maybe. Something like that. Oh, here comes the first salvo. Where's it firing? It's in this angle here. Of course it is. Hits the AT guns and annihilates an MG there. That's a good shot. First shot with seven kills for the Sturm. Sorry, the Stuka Zufus. Walking Stuka. Panzer 4 pushes in. Oh, and there's a shot on the Jackson from the Jagdpanzer. Can they finish it off? One more big shot, perhaps. Attack drowner and misses. So close there. So very close. Meanwhile, the paratroopers could die. Oh, they're offering themselves as bait, perhaps. And there's the cluster munitions. Hurting the Jagdpanzer. It's definitely hurting that Raketenwerfer. He has another Raketenwerfer stolen and built earlier in the game. What a good game this has been. 39 minutes, no signs of stopping yet. Ha! <laughs> he deletes them. They both delete that Raketten Verfer. Nobody likes that Raketten. Because pushing back up. Trying to get rid of that Vet 5 Panzer 4. Here comes the Stuart versus the Vet 5 folks, Grenadiers. And look at all this. Highly experienced infantry pushing into support. Sherman on his 26th kill and counting. The crew is rather, they started their journey inside a steward. Charmander is evolving. Oh! Big shot on the Stern Pioneer squad. Will we see another? Ooh, this one misses. We do have a bit of action in the west here as Obersal Darton. 
They're going to be up against the water wheel for a while. Grenade dodge just about. That's smoke from the mortar. Mortar's Vet 3, by the way. Big shout out to it. There are a lot of great preservation in this game other than Pumas and Luxus. Oh, there you go. The Agapans are starting to have good effect on target. Goes forward a bit too far forward, though. And Jackson doesn't like that. Drips out of the crew, and here comes the Stukas. Next salvo. It's in a line with the mortar. Doesn't do enough damage. The Agapans are lucky to survive against the Jackson's onslaught. Only got one kill on that last salvo. Not too good enough. Oh, Oslot versus Sherman. Ah, lucky there. Very lucky. Bet five pounds four. I wish I had that mod, mod on. Oh, do I? There we go. Looks like I do. I do have the mod. Oh, it's worked. It works in uh, game. There you go. There's all the veteracy bonuses. Alpern, give a shout out to the guy that did that mod for me. I believe it was a German guy. I want to say James Jamzo. Something like that. Yeah, that was it. Oh, here comes the Sherman. He's got his armor piercing loaded. He's going to walk into a Faust, perhaps, but no damage has been done yet. Big shot, possibly, on the Panzer IV. No, the Jackson's backed up. Doesn't want to lose the Jackson. OKW infantry filtering out. They don't have many victory points, so they need to prioritize that. Indeed, they do. They go south as we speak. Meanwhile, Stuart, this vanilla crew pushes into the centre. Jagdpanzer pushes up with Panzer Shrek support. Nobody wants the pack out, sir, it seems. He does have a bit of space in his army, especially if he's repairing tanks. He have the manpower to keep reinforcing everything. Over so close to Vet 5, and that sprint mode engaged. I think we're going to see it. Vet 5. Soon to be incoming here comes the Stukas of Goose. Oh! Oh, he's going to kill the Major, surely. Vet 5 on the Obus now, but they've run away even faster. Well, probably not. Actively sprinting rather than the passive sprint. Major survives there. They've got five pounds of fusing the ears. Fight from behind the tank trap. We've got a hidden Jagdpanzer striking the uh, Stuart, but the um, Jackson strikes back. Meanwhile, in the north, that five Panzer IV says hello to the rear echelons. Here come the Automatrons to repair that Jagdpanzer ASAP. He's at 88 population cap with a lot of fuel in the back, a lot of manpower. So one would expect if... Uh, oh dear, this could be good. From the INR Pathfinders, going to have to reposition... Oh no, this is the cluster munitions. How do you reposition when they're falling on your heads? Always oh, lucky to keep that Vet 5 MG alive. And indeed the Obes will And that could have been so much worse. Look at the spread. Just tickling the Obers there. What a game this is. They're playing... Tank Destroyer Tennis, my favourite brand of tennis. Some people say clay, some people say hard courts. I say Tank Destroyers. Basically, so, Reddle Gammy. One would say it's not a good gaming mechanic. Others say, ha ha ha, look at that big explosion. Yeah, it's true, Alper. Oh, that's cute. Look, the same. Follow me, follow me into a land of pure imagination. Oh, they're sprinting everywhere. They love it. And they're going to sprint all the way back to base and get healed up because there's no point keeping 60% health. Ober's on the field. Can the Sherman get a shot? Oh, that was so clever from Inca. I love the top level play. I love it. Oh, healing up. Thanks to their 
Awesome. Stick to the foos. Oh, that's better. Oh, that's really good. Gets rid of the vet three mortar. Nearly kills the paratrooper squad. To be honest, Elfman, Stuka has been pretty good, to be fair. 19 kills. So, yeah. King Tiger may have been better, but I don't think that would have been on the field. Well, it would have been by now, actually. But it's not been bad. I'm not reading that right now. Meanwhile, in the north, we've got Sturm Officer. Oh, he's getting hurt a bit there. The paratroopers survived, didn't they? Yeah, they did, just about. Oh, okay. That sounds good. I see what you mean, Raglan. That would be cool. Like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I like the demented river song. We don't know where they're going, but the rowers keep on rowing. Is it raining? Is it snowing? Is a hurricane a blowing? It's really good for kids, especially when the tarantula gets projected on the side of the wall and the screaming noises start. Great kids' film. Here we go. They made them different in the 70s. That's for certain. This 31 kills. Getting into combat. Sherman could hurt them here. There's a cheeky nade forcing everything off. There's a lot of light cover, by the way, helping these assaults now. It really does help the uh, persistency of infantry in the late game. Especially to see this battlefield. Look at that. Stuka should be ready soon. We're going to try and get a nice cinematic for YouTube. Jackson. Vet 3 now. The Agapans are pushed off. Victory points 156 to 112. It's getting close, basically. It's almost like watching WWE. It almost feels choreographed, this game. It's too good to be true. The Stuka, we've got smoke as well. There it is. There's the money shot, everybody. That's what we wanted to see. Nothing died. Well, maybe that, but I think that was already down. No, yeah, it was already down. Sherman versus Panzer Fusilius down here. Yeah, just want to go. He needs to retreat that. Or is he sacrificing it to the KT gods? He's sacrificing it to the gods of King Tiger! Is he? Surely not! No, he's just getting tired. He did just have a best of three that all went to the deciding ace game. I was going to say, you sacrifice the folks grenadiers or something. Or maybe kill the ISG, I don't know. Yeah, that's not intended. Thank God, Elpin. I thought he'd gone mad. I mean, we all like a Hing Tiger, but not that much. <laughs> it, is, it, it is a good game. One, one thing that I like to do if you uh, want to get rid of manpower is put an MG in a building and let the opponents destroy it and then, of course, they can't recruit it. And they get less experience, I think, or something. It sounds good. I think that's if you take someone's MG, put it in the house. Right, here comes the Vet 5 Sturm Officer throwing a smoke grenade. Oh, he's going to try and get the Stuart! It's a race! Oh, it was so close! So very close. Why did he throw the grenade? Just get in there, mate. Oh. We nearly had a butte panzer then. It was worth waiting for this series. It certainly has been. Set five. Everything's Vet 5 now. Don't need to keep saying Vet 5. Ooh, someone's gone down to 100 points. It's Jibber. And he's having the Northern Victory Point taken away from him. Ober's low. Ober's very low. Mm, there you go. I think the ISG may have saved their life there. I don't know. May, I don't think that. I think they were still stationary, actually. Just unlucky from Inca that he didn't get the crits on retreat. Right, the 30. 54 kill. Panzer IV pushes into the centre. Getting some really nice shots off. Stun grenade goes another Raketa, but the Jag... 
There he is, the Jackson finds the Panzer, then the Sherman finishes the job. But the Sherman's now in a spot of vulnerability because the Shrek could do the same to him. Don't who needs a Shrek when you've got a Jagd Panzer fear? Oh my, but the Jackson's going for the Jagd Panzer. Oh, nearly finishes the job. Now the Shrek turns his attention to the said Jackson. So does the Panzerfaust. Ooh, the tank destroyers live to fight another day. But importantly for Jibber, he gets the central victory point into German hands. Kubelvorgen. He's built a bloody Kubel for reasons. It's the King Kubel, the Konigs Kubel. It's one and a half tons of quantified devastation, and it's on the field right now. This is no ordinary Kubel. This is a late game Uber Kubel. Oh, he misses horrendously there. Oh, he gets the kill with the Raketen. Takes out the Stuart that's been alive for such a long time. Here comes Forced Retreat trying to get rid of the paratroopers. He does indeed do that. Paratroopers that died at some point, by the way. So I kind of missed that. There's been a lot happening, though, as you can appreciate. Meanwhile, Stern Pioneers in the south. We've got INRs in the north. They absolutely annihilate the Obers. We just caught the death of the Obers there. <laughs> I mean, they are the most powerful squad in Company Heroes 2. I mean, what do you expect, everybody? So much has been dying. It's so difficult to keep track of who's winning and who's losing. Vet 3, Jackson, looks at the husk of the Sherman and cries a tear. Victory points are staying in Inca Una's favour and they're ticking down slowly for your Dutchman. The jibber of Jabberis Jobbers. Oh, bloody hell, they hit that barrel outside the house. That made a massive noise. Trying to get around the back of the Sturms and push them. He's using a Jackson to crush them! Ah! my god, that was awesome. He moonwalked over them with Michael Jackson. That was amazing. <laughs> it was cruel. It was juicy. It was, as Pac says, bruh. Oh my. I like dog eels. Squished. <laughs> oh, that was great. He did have ages to retreat Von Aston, but I don't think he understood what was happening. He was probably microing the centre, I imagine. Looks down south, sees a Jackson, thinks, what the hell's going on? Oh, nice pick up from the uh, now 31 kill Stuka Zufus. Not too shabby. Meanwhile, Kubel goes north, but the INRs can sway the Kubel, of course they do. Somebody's going to get the MG34 eventually. Sturm Officer caps the centre in the south victory point. By the way, now we've got the rear echelon with the M1919 LMG. Jibber deletes that weapon. He's down to 50 victory points. He needs something big. He needs something scary. I'm not talking about your mother, guys. I'm talking about the King Tiger. He needs to get it on the field. Right, he's going to force away the INRs. He's used a lot of forces to do it. Is that what he's saving for? Look at the fuel count. Look at the manpower. Ah, it's not about diversity IRL, Balmy. It's about the army diversity of the, the players. No politics involved in this cup. Disclaimer. I mean, yeah, Panzer IV would be the more obvious choice, Elton, but we're living in a high plan here. Put you Take your logic brain out. Just live in the world of mega hype. You won't sleep tonight. All right, Thompson's against the uh, Panzer Fusiliers. I've been alive for a very long time. Get Panzer. If you get paratroopers too late, just get Thompson's. It seems. Right, we've got a cautiously moving Jagd Panzer pushing up the centre. In the south, Ooh, the officer can't do much against that. Doesn't want to mess around with that Jackson anymore. Who can blame him? Nine infantry kills. And hits the Kubel with a mega long shot there. 
Three rational spots for him, and he gets it. Just had a Stukas of Foos shot in somewhere. It was in the north, it would seem. Gets rid of the paratroopers. Vital Stukas of Foos shot, because the Foch Grenadiers needed that. Still no one picks up the MG34. Ain't got nobody got time for one of the best ones in the game. Jagdpanzer pushes up. Can he see the Jackson? Doesn't look like it. Ooh, gets forced off thanks to the Iron Ops. Artillery. We've got Rakettenwerfer going south. Oh no, that's not going to end well. Waiting for the artillery to time down, then he'll get into the centre himself. Right, we've got a Sherman now. He's waiting for the King Tiger. This is so dangerous. He's on 34 victory points. Kubel causing nuisance for itself. Iron they're forced off. He's going to get a vital neutralization. If he wants to get the King Tiger out, he's going to need that. And he got it just about. Meanwhile, Jagdpanzer's in peril. He's being spotted for by the 50 cal. Sherman's pushing him, but he himself gets shot. Do we have an 18 -8? Yes, we do. Clutch 18 -8. Here comes the Jackson. Got the Stukas of Usa in a spot of bother if it gets spotted. All right. There we go. Oh, just enough chaos to keep the Jackson from finishing Jibber off. Oh, no. And it's going to be coming out very soon. He actually got the Ag Tiger now. I don't think he's going to do that. Force retreat utilised on the 50 cal. This officer's fighting for Zerich. Make it happen, Jibber. One big BM off of a tank to end the game. Perhaps a Leviathan of Krupstahl. And indeed it comes onto the field. This is going to be do or die now for Jibber. He has survived to this point. He has prevailed. But will he be ultimately victorious? Cooper Vargans battling against a rear restaurant. That's a big battle in the south. When you get to victory point clutch situations, even this becomes huge. And the rear echelons win it. And then retreat away. Jackson definitely would have finished that one off. But can you hear the rumble of thunder? Oh no, now the King Kubel's dead. It's time for the real king. It's got many names. The Royal Tiger, the Bengal Tiger, the Tiger 2, the Tiger B. But for Jibber right now, it's known as salvation because this thing has a hell of a lot of work to do. Pushes forward, takes out the M1 with his first action on the field. Not a bad action, has to be said. Panzerfuser Leas would rather be dead than not cap this victory point, and that may just happen if they're unfortunate. Ooh, big shot from the uh, Jagd Panzer. Good work done there. We've got 97 victory points now for Inca. He's in the psychologically dangerous territory of double digit figures. Pushes forward. And he's not a hunker, hunker burning love. He's a hunker, hunker of menacing fear and devastation. That was a joke based on Elvis Presley, otherwise known as the king, if you didn't quite get the joke there. Okay, right. Here comes the. That is a very far forward. It doesn't help being far forward with the Stukas of Bruce, by the way. The pattern's the same. Well dodged, by the way, by Inca there. He did suffer a bit of uh, manpower attrition on his MG, but that was it. Could have been worse. Could have been much worse. Jackson is Vet 3. Can reliably penetrate the King Tiger. Ooh, look at this. Oh, what's he doing? Jibber, no! He's going to take out the ambulance. That makes sense, to be fair. There's the Killer Instinct's orange pest. He said he didn't have! What a kill! Was that for the ISG? Couldn't have been, surely. No, it wasn't. That's in the south. Capping the victory point. Oh, Jagdpanzer could get taken out here. The Sherman's coming around the side. Oh, Jibber got too aggressive. Oh, no. Now the rear's exposed of that King Tiger. The Jackson's absolutely thundering. Look at the traversal rate. Crank it, helmets. You've got to get that 88mm on target. Meanwhile, oh, clutch cluster munitions. Taking everything out in the centre. The King is stranded. Oh, but he gets a big shot in on the Sherman. Finishes the job there. Here comes the Raquette. And if he can keep the front armor facing. But no, the Jackson reliably penetrates him. And now he's a burning testament to being too cocky. And getting into a spot of bother over there earlier. Look at the top right of your picture. Jibber has barely anything left. 
he threw everything in. And now, as Alpern mentions, here comes the Panzer IV. A little bit late, yeah, about 15 minutes too late. He should have rebuilt this thing ages ago. No one really stalls for a King Tiger. That's just insanity. That's just pandering to AE in this case. Been a good game. It's been a hell of a good game. It could have gone either way for a very long time. But Inca held his nerve and played the logical, calm decisions. Jibber has one last throw of the dice. But only has one squad of infantry. And they've got a lot of work to do. Throw a grenade in. That's pretty smart, to be fair. Here come the Thompsons. And the crush for the Jackson, possibly! <laughs> He's going to have to stay in. He's going to have to stay in because he's got one squad and he has to cap the victory points. 29 victory points left. Okay, he's forced away. Panzer IV can't come soon enough. This Panzer IV has to be the best Panzer IV in the history of Company Heroes in order for Jibber to win this game. Will it happen? You've got probably 1 in 100 odds of winning this game at this point. It's possible, but he's thrown in the towel. It was too short odds wasn't going to happen saw the writing on the wall and 1-0 to Inca in uh, the best game for a few months at least the best game I've cast for a few months really epic game GG well played um, and that's just game one say hello to YouTube everybody because there'll be a lot of people that watch this all the way to the end on YouTube could be end up being tens of thousands of people if it's a really good one Yeah, of course you can, Alpern. If if that's what packs and you want, of course you can. Absolutely you can. No problem. Grab your friends, it's time to see a little bit more variety. With one of each and every unit, it's the diversity. There we go. Oh, I'm a bit tired now. I need a break. <laughs> yeah, I kept the scream in. In fact, I amplified it. <laughs> the one frame rate um, adds to the charm. Yeah, that was a, a tough one to cast. But I'm glad I had a good, good warm-up today. And I'm going on a well-earned break, unless anybody's got anything else for me. Oh, by the way, um, there was one of the names dropped in this competition today. Um, I'm going to have to write it down now. Um, God, what, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So watch this back if you want to win the copy of Co3. Um, so the competition is win Co3. You can win Co3 legitimately just by filling out three names on a Google form tomorrow. Each name is a name of a unit as named by me in the casts. Has anyone seen my friend Isilda? Oh, wait. I don't have any friends. Ah, <sighs> so... I've got my first one written down. Let me save that somewhere. Oh, I'll save it to co diversity. Call it names.text. Of course you can, mate. That's why I made you a moderator, because you're active today and you're doing a lot of work on it, dude. Ugh. Ugh. Well, that's too bad. It may have been someone that died. Look what I won the other day, guys. Pretty cool, right? It's a company of here's three pocket compass. Also won a... Actually did actually win this, to be fair. Um, a Co3 medal. Actually had to work very hard to win that. In a very tough competition. Oh. 
Oh, oh gosh, tiring stuff. Let's see what happened in the World Cup. Well, that was a tiring game to cast. France versus Denmark has been going on for a while. Denmark have held them so far. Interesting. A month's worth of it. Uh, yes, doggy yells, because my mastery of the German language is unparalleled. I can do the OKW announcer, for example, perfectly. Thanks, Ragnar. Have a good evening, mate. You drew, so it's now sock ball. If you'd won, it would be soccer, but it's now sock ball. I've got a good remix, I just thought of it. Why do I play guitars in between casts? Because it's the exact different part of your brain um, from playing Company Heroes, I think. So it doesn't tire me out. In fact, it refreshes me in some ways. Uh, see if game two is available. Uh, quick toilet break. Back in a sec, guys.
Right. Now. Turn up. Oh, fuck. Uh. Testing, testing. Mm. What happened to my microphone? Testing. Testing, testing. Ah, it is working. Okay. Sorry, guys. I, uh, I had a your OBS error. It showed me the mic microphone wasn't working, and it was. And I got upset, and it was working. Good. Uh, we've had three and 230 viewers, which is terrible by old standards, but good by current standards, I guess, because for some reason, Co2 doesn't interest people as much as it used to. Even though Co3 is coming out. Ugh. So annoying. Right, let's go catch this game. So, looking for it now in the old. I assume they've started. Yes, there we go. It's live and ready. Yeah, basically, Opelanka. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to have loads more people around for um, Co3. I just hope this tournament would spark people's imagination a little bit. Let me just answer the referees who are kicking off about something else. Though. Right then, I've got the replay ready. Ooh, interesting factions. Oh, ho, ho, yes. Very interesting indeed. Um, the last game was absolutely mega. Yeah, absolutely. I'm just trying to get some um, fuel on board. Well, we'll see, Stone Panther. We'll see. I'm just saying the factions are interesting. I'm not saying what they are. Right, let's get some hype. Let's because we just had a massive game one. We're all a little bit fatigued now, and um, a years mainly. And um, yeah, we've got to get ready for game two. We've got to get ourselves back up for this. Oh, did they? Pax and Markov went to an ace game. Interesting, GB. Okay. Pardon me. Not sleepy as such. Just um, tired after that. Tired in an exhausted way rather than a not having slept way. No rest for the wicked. All the weary, though. Because we got to go. Let's go. Grab your friends, it's time to see a little bit more variety. With one of each and every unit, it's the diversity. go as you can see now you can you've got inka una in the south he is one nil up his okw breakthrough doctrine is looking to break through into the third round of this tournament which will be the semi-finals played tomorrow and he's up against 
You've seen it. Yes, you've already seen it. I know you have. It's the Brits of Jibber Jabber Jobber with his Royal Engineer Regiment giving him access to the Royal Engineer Recovery Squad, which will be very interesting indeed. And he's also going to make use of the traditional Royal Engineers. So giving him thus three kind of main lines. Let's say two and a half because uh, I'm pretty sure the Royal Engineers are most meant to be a worker unit. Definitely one extra one. Let's see what else he can do with. I mean, the AVRE could be pretty exciting later on. Cooper Vargan is going to have a good time driving around in the east and into the victory point in the north. This is a recovery squad, meaning they can recover your life into death with a flamethrower. That's what it means. Recover Earth's energy. That you stole from it with your life. By burning you. You see. Enemy causing trouble. Try to this. Oh, the timing's terrible. I'm not going to breathe. You see. Ready for use. On the field. Could be going for a wasp possibly. Be interesting. Or probably the Vickers. I swear to God in Co2, like the last second of building lasts five seconds. Does anyone notice that? I swear to God it does. Work to construct a new platoon command post is finished. Here it comes looking to help out. We do have 18 aids possible from the Panzer Fusiliers, of course. It's very touch and go. It's going to force back quite horrendously. He's going to jump into the garrison. From which he can shoot from this one window. Enemy Very much. And the one, the one guy exposed the window is killed immediately. That's what you get for being so violent. Royal engineers don't have access to the heat grenade yet because they don't have enough resources. So the Kubel is quite not that probably predictable. Well, mainly because the UC has uh, spent the money on the Vickers. Which could take out the Kubel in itself, really. Good pressure by Jibber so far. It's okay, at least. Battle group headquarters for Inca. Doesn't fancy the Puma in this round of fighting. There you go for the Black Half Track. Who knows? Black Half Track with a Rakat and Verfa could be good. This guy's crawling home to base. He hit retreat quite a while ago. And this guy hasn't got the message that uh, he's not meant to make it home, unfortunately for him. He's still going, though. It'd be really cool if he were, if he managed to make it all the way back to... An oh, no, he just jumped up and flailed around. Trading-wise, uh, three kills for Jibber so far. And none for Inca. But lives matter, and certainly... Doing well so far. Just don't want to get 18 aided, so yep, gets out of there. Got one kill on the UC this at this point. Vickers on the field. Suppressing those Enemy Panzer Fuses. Oh, got a battle down here. Stern Pioneers ambush the Sten guns of those Royal Engineers. If they were behind heavy cover, it may have been different, but they were out in the open. They lose one of their comrades as a result. Oh, keep capping just about. No, he's going to try and get a position on these engineers instead. Oh, there's a mine for you on the Stern Pioneers and the Vickers Mac. Try and finish them off here. Can they get an early win for Jibber? He's going to go for it, ladies and gents. He gets a shot from the house with the MG there. He won more big shot and he could finish off the Stern Pioneers, but he's blocked him by the Kubel. What an awesome operation there by Inca. What micro from the Romanian. That was awesome. Blocking in the UC. Keeping the Stern Pioneers alive. When he's not crushing you with a Jackson, he's doing nice work like that. It is tier one first from Inca. Yes, they can. They're just not allowed to have the same unit out simultaneously. It is going to be flak from Inca. Interesting. 
leaving himself vulnerable, of course, to the AEC of Jibber. So we're going to have to have a good recovery for maybe even a shoe mine. Armored cars can now be built. No problem. Yep, and he's requisitioning them and building them. So just as this flak hits, it's going to be vulnerable. May need the Stern Pioneer Panzer Shrek, I'm thinking. He, he's definitely going to need a Raketenwerfer. So as soon as this hits, it's vulnerable. I'd set up before I even get it, knowing how close the AEC could be. Because his first salvo of suppressing fire could lead to his demise. Oh. Officer getting hurt there. Keep your heads down, gents. Forward flanks going to get a position on them. But as I said earlier, push away the UC. And Raketten's going to be out in no time. Ink is going to be fine. Yeah, I think so. I've still got lots of tips ready for the tactical map. That's going to be my next uh, video. But just want to get some eyes on how it looks. And I know it's not publicly available how it looks yet, so can't really comment. Tank officer, ready to be deployed. Enemy infantry having a pop. Hey, wheelbarrow explodes. Did I say I meant tractor? Of course, I meant tractor. Modified M6 mine in the past. There, telegraph pole sent tumbling by the AEC. He's a big blocky boy, isn't he? He's destroying. What was the remnants of a family car? Do you imagine how cool you were in the 1940s if you had a family car? Like, you were definitely a factory owner or a doctor or something. Such a prestige symbol. Especially if you have, like, a Mercedes or, or something better. Or even later on in the 1960s, if you managed to even get a small car in the 20th century, you're basically, like, not just winning at life. Just more better, isn't it? Oh, and here we go. Can they, they were facing the wrong way. It's going to be down. This is what we were worried about, ladies and gents. He smokes out, but he's dead already. And just a great operation for the AEC. It was just obvious, though. Absolutely obvious. To me, at least, with the benefits of not having Fog of War. But then again, players like Inca... If you're screaming tawny mode games all the time, you're not necessarily playing against Brits as those in auto match may be. And, um... Oh, she runs on the trip. So, uh, your Brit timing may be off, but I swear to God, the idea that the AEC is ever-present and available is such an ever-present danger when you're playing against Brits. Thanks, Gary. Thanks for the clip, mate. I appreciate it. Everybody could watch that clip, share it with your friends, maybe um, share it on Christmas Day with your closest family relatives. Yeah, nice mine. Good bait. I take uh, great pleasure in saying Gary with a Canadian housewife voice. Gary! What are you doing, Gary? Trained. Oops, snipers out for Jibber. Going to keep the pressure on. Officer's trying to hold the line. He's got MG support. Meanwhile, Panzerfusilier is. Could they finish off Jibber's MG? Possibly not. Officer held the line for as long as he could. AC's going to see to that. It wasn't uh, SpongeBob impression. I was uh, too old to watch SpongeBob. Or not stoned enough in my early 20s. Possibly. At 33, you've had to be stoned in your early 20s or uh, unemployed to have watched SpongeBob. Dexter's Laboratory, on the other hand, now that was my generation, Nickelodeon.
I mean, it may be relevant when you're absolutely dominating your opponent. But you're right in thinking the fact you can't go two six-pounders means an AVRE rush, although improbable at a high level, is now impossible, most likely. Because you'd just get destroyed, wouldn't you? I mean, you can make it work, like, if you play, like, uh, a certain Angry Dutchman, for example, and you just get your AT gun wall and you creep towards a Sturm Tiger. Um, but in this case, it would be the AVRE. It is possible. But it's so much better to just go Cromwell Comet, isn't it? Surely Cromwell Comet would be the way to go. Probably get more kills in the long run. Just less spectacularly. Enemy threatening a capture point. Oh, MG's getting hurt here. Those Royal Engineers have pulled off a great flank. And they've sacrificed themselves to try and get an MG34. That was a bit mad. A little bit mad, let's say. He has been able to take a Raketenwerfer, however. And I tell you what, the UC's doing a lot of damage. So is the AEC as well, actually. Alright, gets the MG back. Tries to get to Faustin range. Isn't able to do so. Pushes forward again. Dangerous, that is. It is dangerous. MG has not hard retreated. Is he mad? It's been a disastrous game for Inca. And KD's gone heavily in Jibber's favour. Sniper's not done much, though. I mean, yeah. To be honest, now... Oh, look at that. He spotted the uh, sphere being built. Some shots away. But incurs an AT grenade that forces the sphere to uh, be cancelled. That's a bit of a disaster, isn't it? Loses the truck's worth of fuel, I believe. Is that right, is it? So, that couldn't be... The health on it... Oh, I sort of, guys, conf I, I get confused when I've been casting for a long time, because I'm trying to talk whilst my brain interprets information. But, how was that destroyed? Because it had a lot of health left. So, is it... Someone explain it to me. My AE brain's not working. Oh, but it still had health. Okay, fair enough. Just destroyed. Might be that my perceived the health bar to be larger than it actually was, probably. As I say, when you cast a game as epic as uh, game one, uh, your brain can play tricks on you, to say the least. Ah, I see. Fair enough, Elpo. I've probably been caught out by that in the past, thanks for the tip. Thought it had a bit more health than that. That's a now a colossal disaster, let's face it. If Jibber is worth his salt, he should be able to finish this game off relatively easily. Probably by the 20-minute mark, to be honest. Mmm, interesting, Elpern. Interesting. That sounds like something I should have lived four years ago. Kenver sets up. Can't get the shot, though. That's unfortunate. Ooh, the sniper could get a kill here. He's lining it up. He's lining it up. He's got a 50% chance just about, and he gets it. And Inca Una surrenders. Oh, what an authoritative way to end the game. Headshot. Awesome stuff there by Jibber, showing Brits off in this tournament format. It's a great effect. And the Germans are on the run in this one. Awesome stuff by the Jib Master. GG, well played. He's come through a deciding ace game best of three already. Has Jibber in his first game series of the day played the Polishman um, Probity. And now he's going to have to do the same against the Romanian. GG, well played. Grab your friends, it's time to see a little bit more variety. With one of each and every unit, it's the diversity. Yeah, I guess. I bet they can have a little break now, I would assume. Uh, I'm going to go look at the chat. Started. I don't think they've started right. Just check they've not started. They 
should have told me really if they have started. Hmm. Ah, there's one there. What's that one? Did I go past that one too quickly? Hang on. It's that one. That one. Yeah. I don't think they have started. Sort by viewers to be safe. Yeah, they haven't, no. I'll message them to be safe. Oh, they have. Starts of literally just now. Literally just now. So that's good. Okay. I don't need to go and get my... Um... <sighs> my RAM back. Because it's literally just started. There you go. Who will win the decider? Let's have a little vote, shall we? I'm not allowed to vote, apparently. That's rubbish, isn't it? Four minutes, 19. Any company here has conversion songs we can play? You may need to mute yourself if you don't like my terrible singing. Oh, I've got a good one. It's one each. Need a harder plectrum. Is the one about? What's this one? Ah, oh, it's floppy. Ugh, whatever. No, I really do need a hard plectrum. Didn't have to do. in Famonville. I've been suppressed from it. As soon as my enemy gets an MG in that house. Oh God, I know I'm done. My, <laughs> my, my father was a complainer. He complained on all the forums But Relic, they did not listen And flamethrowers are still non-doctrinal We don't do press-ups at the moment. We're doing uh, finger press-ups where you try and get your eyes to work in a binocular fashion. Which helps a lot if you were born with a lazy eye. You have to go cross-eyed at this point. It's really difficult if you have a very, very weak eye to do this. But it trains uh, coordination. And it's literally called a finger press-up. And if you've got a weak eye, it can train your eyes to be convergent at any point in your life. Even if you were told, as a child, you can only train this when you're a child. They found out in the last 15 years that it works at any stage in life. There you go. That's a finger press-up. Co-Vietnam song. What would a co-Vietnam song be? Do you think that was Vietnam? Possibly.
No, I have a perma squint. I'm trying to not have a perma squint. My Polish DNA means I have a lazy eye probability, so I blame Poland because I'm pretty sure it came through my Polish uh, side of the family. Do you want to hear the most depressing song of all time? Let's just ask them if they're starting, actually. Oh no, we've got 20 seconds, damn it. You know my grandmother's Polish property. And that comes from her side of the family. Kimbo, put Kimbo, what's his uh, full tag? Uh, find Kimbo's channel, Isilda. He's casting it. We're watching game three, which has now started. I don't know. Couldn't tell you that much. You're asking too much. Grab your friends, it's time to see a little bit more variety. With one of each and every unit. It's the diversity club. Hello there and welcome. And AE needs to reset the scores. He needs to. Because the scores are no longer 1 0 to either player. It's now 1 all. It's an ace deciding game. The third game of this best of three. And Jib has gone for Brits yet again. He had faction choice. He chose allies. Al as Alpern rightly predicted, he denied Inca Una the USF pick. And here come those Royal Engineer recovery sappers. And Inca Una has gone for Vermat. On my first cast, I'm seeing Vermat today. Pardon me. Trying to drink beer and then cast is not always the best idea. I do apologise for that. Uh, we've got Assault Grenadiers. And they're emerging over... The ML logo, which is always cool. Always cool. There you go. And this commander is, of course, Strategic Reserves Doctrine. Giving the Tiger race in the late game. Not that we're going to see it, but we're definitely going to be seeing two Panzer IVs, both the Alf J and the Vanilla variants. Some might say that's going against the spirit of the tournament, but it certainly isn't going against the rules. Predictions are on. They're at a flip of a coin. Let's see who wins the predictions poll in chat. Got barbed wire up on the VW Beetle. The Pioneers push forward. The Assault Grenadiers get into the house on the north side. And, oh no, they're going to lie in ambush. That's snazzy. I like it. They'll be able to basically eviscerate... Somebody through that door, possibly, with the MP40s. I did an interview with Relic holding an MP40 on Tuesday. I could not make that up. That's uh, going to be on their channel soon. Universal Carrier, ready for the off. The infantry section also is. They're going to look to flank this MG42, but they're supported by a Grenadier. Grenadiers looking to force away the UC by getting in close. We have a Faust from the off with Grenadiers. UC knows it. UC reverses away. And yes, the infantry section makes it into the garrison. One of the most powerful garrisons on a tournament caliber map. 
Vickers upgraded now for the UC. So call an ambulance, but not for me. Meanwhile, Pioneer's capping in the south. MG pushes forward. And the UC's looking to cause some damage. Sniper next for Inca Una. Jibber. Shaw going for the Vickers next. He needs, is it 260 manpower? Yep, he can have it, but he's not going it yet. Not many other units he can deploy. He may as well get it. Narrow side of the house is getting volleyed at the moment, but the assault grenadiers are forced away. Tommies also have to pick their moments. You see, backs off itself. Sniper emerges onto the field with that scoped car G43 rifle. And there's falls off the pioneers. Jibber's going for his own sniper. Now this is Juicy Will. The Vermax sniper, yes, it's already revealed itself. It's got two kills. That happened quickly. So now Jibber's sniper is going to possibly try and be a counter sniper. Co-1 style. The Co-2 style is to start firing straight away. The Co-1 style is to try and counter snipe. We'll see which is going to happen. Enemy at the gates. Oh. Nice, getting some XP kickers. Four kills and counting. Keep going them down. Right, let's see what this guy does with his hilariously large rifle. He is Scottish, of course. He couldn't just have a Lee Enfield marksman rifle. No, no, no. It's a, a battered a Mars bar of a gun. It's a 50. Five cal anti-tank gun. Oh, that's a modified M6 mine. I thought it was. It didn't make no sense in my brain. I just saw sniper, saw mine, and got scared. Oh, very much sniper's crab walking into misery. That could be dangerous. <gasps> and Jibber's creeping up. He's in cover. Ding 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 He's on his, Her Majesty's Secret Service, or should I say His Majesty's now? Probably not for much longer. But indeed, he's uh, for King and Country. A capture point is Name that overrun. game. If Eddie Tertz isn't in chat, it might be difficult. It's awfully quiet out there. We know Inca hasn't put. Uh, it's so quiet. He's. In, he's, he's, uh, sorry, I didn't know what he was doing. He's urinating into the bushes. I didn't know that was happening. I'm so sorry to have shown that on screen. Guys, uh, I, I don't know what to say. We've got the 222 coming out, Ford Inca. This is going to give his sniper some covering fire and allow him a bit more work. Brit sniper. May now know he's been sussed out. It's a delicate psychological battle, but the fact the Wehrmacht sniper's gone on counter sniping duty himself, and the fact he's on cloak mode and he's on hold fire may indicate that Inca suspects a rat. Oh, rare move here. He's going into the windmill, it would seem. Is he? Looks like he is. Go on, son. Get in there. Windmill. Windmill. Oh, no. What is Jibba doing? If only he'd gone in the windmill, that would have turned out all right. A little bit of smoke lines. from our assault officer. Enemy threatening a oh, point. but he's getting hurt. He's getting really hurt. And where is the Brit sniper when you needed him? He was trying to come in for the retreat path. Oh, and the officer bites the dust. We've lost an officer in action. Oh, that hurts. That cost him a little bit. That did. That cost him 300 manpower in total. There's the anti-vehicle damage with the anti-material rifle. Snipe. Oh, he got the kill. There you go. Heat grenade. Putting the heat down. What's Jibber doing? Why is he staying in there? Oh, so dangerous. He's going to get counter sniped. Oh, Pack hits that. What's he doing? Why is he staying out in the open? Jibber, you're mad. He just wanted to use the artillery of the sniper, but it makes no sense. 
makes no sense. I'm just aghast why Jibber decides to throw a unit every game. Every game he throws a unit. Alpern has some level of explanation. Oh, he's saying the sniper's cloaked by the AT gun because the AT gun has a, a shield. Yeah, that makes sense. But what doesn't make sense is Jibber. What was he thinking? No one has an explanation for Jibber. What makes me laugh is Alpern at GCS3 in the biggest match of his life was getting advised by Orange Pest and Jibber. Imagine Jibber giving you advice in the middle of the biggest series of your life. Orange Pest may be, but Jibber? The guy's a madman! <laughs> the pack could get him here. What's the AC doing? Pioneer finds him. Oh, silo blocks a shot. Why is he throwing? He's ruining the series, goddammit. Uh, it's odd to say the least. Alpern always tries to counteract my hyperbole, I've noticed. It's, it's a good habit to be in, to be honest, because it keeps society uh, well balanced. But in this case, I don't think there's any... Oh, nice pick up there from Inca Una, marching into the quarterfinals. <laughs> it makes no sense to show off with a sniper like that, though, does it? It really doesn't. Meanwhile, Wehrmacht snipers operating on rather low health. He's got a nice little hat, hasn't he? With the eyes of a killer. Pretty cool looking rifle, though. A lot of wood. Oh, he's inspecting it right in front of us. Yeah, he's not that impressed by it. Meanwhile, Panzer Grenadiers, they're holding, of course, the Sturmgewehr. And I, myself, managed to hold one. And I was really impressed. Because the ergonomics of the, uh, the barrel were excellent to hold. Although, I can imagine it getting quite hot when it's spurting hot lead. Never fight these guns, I've just held them. AC rebuild in the works while spotted by Alpha and the co caster and resident. Text form. I have a clip there. Unintentional. Grenade threatening. I think Jibber might be tired. There's no other explanation for it. Assault officer does some great work against the Panzer Grenadiers there. Expending 68 manpower in total. AC rebuild. How much work can it do? It has to keep away from this nasty pack 40. Bunkers finally up. Paul Zadik is going to be happy. Yeah, you can't do that, Paul. It's a one of every unit tournament. Yeah, you should finally enter a Master League tournament, Paul. Damned enemies trying to take a point from us. Blocky boy, do some work. You've got some bloody work to do. That's for certain. Pack 40. Has heard the disturbance. This is going to fire upon the AC. Possibly. Yep, there you go. New machine gun crew, ready and waiting. Vickers now on the field. Probably should have built that earlier. It's really starting to take hold on the map, it should be, it seems. Snipers climb to Veteran C2, now 11 kills in total. Finally spotting the Royal Engineers and calling the boys in to help out. Ooh. There's a good use of assault grenades. Unlucky spread though, only killing one crew member of the MG. Ooh. 
there's the artillery called in from the base. In the west, AEC has gotten a kill pack, pushes a little bit too far forward. But there's not that much that can do damage to it right now, thanks to uh, Jibber being Enemy hurt quite badly earlier on. That's why he's got 10 less pop cap at the moment. The engine is put somewhere. It's this 222 who's been damaged by the Royal Engineers, it seems. You see marches forward. In Kauna's getting battle phase two as we speak. He's on 63 fuel. He'll be going towards a Panzer IV sooner rather than later. That's why Ajib is probably on the AC, maybe, and then he'll go six pounder after. Given that anti tank power he needs. Can't get two AT guns in this game, unless you steal one. Sniper 15 kills now, may get another. Maybe starting to worry about the counter snipe as a possibility. attempting to steal our sector. Off. And here it is. The sniper is being the rebuilt by Jibber. You don't even ball. Well, then a medic. We a Interesting. Meanwhile, there's the support on McCore. He's at 82 fuel. Jibber's got 183. One could argue Jibber's not... not, not um, using his fuel economy correctly, if that is the case. 72 now, so it's just gone. Right, there comes the company command post. He's going to have... To be honest, he's not that far off bloody having the uh, Cromwell then, is he? I just don't understand Brits clearly. Runton is forced off by the sniper. No one's 16 kills. Panzer Grandier's follow-up. Brits sniper may finally get the counter snipe after the earlier sniper so gallantly sacrificed himself to throw a flare. You see darts behind the guard tower. Two for two vanquish for now. There's not enough. Well, there is a bit of cover there. He can push up. So can the AEC. Getting a great shot off there. And another follow-up when he goes on hold fire mode. But there's a Faust and a Bat 40 waiting for him. Brit Sniper just starts opening up straight away. Vermat Sniper is in the vicinity. You can see their relative positions there. One and two. Looks like the Brit Sniper doesn't fancy it. You can blame him. Not the attrition of the earlier one. Modified M6 mine planted there. Artillery flares used by the assault officer. Gets rid of the MG, but it's just going to backpedal somewhere over here, perhaps. Ah! Runs through his own artillery. There we go. Wow, another mine there. So, good amount of mines planted at this point. Just, well, two. They're in good positions, rather, is what I mean. This one definitely detonated earlier. And he's capping the victory point with the sniper there, and he's pushing up with the infantry here. Meanwhile, the Panzer IV is on its way. Jibber has 125 fuel. He could get out the Cromwell now, but he's not going to do that, it would seem. There we go. I thought we'd get it out earlier, but it's not going to be too far behind the Panzer at this rate. Meanwhile, fuel's being denied by Panzer Grenadiers in the centre. Grens have forced that away. Oh, another mine's managed to be planted now. He's got three, a trifecta of mines. Grens are going to hit this one. Are they? Possibly not. Meanwhile, Sniper opens up. Brit Sniper does the same. You see, climbing seven kills now versus the third four manpower fleshy targets. Assault Grens came for the Sniper. Oh, he's going to back away. Interesting engagement. Meanwhile, Wehrmacht Sniper pushes up. That mine detonates, forcing away that Grenadier. Oh, sprinting after the Sniper. He needs to hold a tree. Of course he does. And Inca Una can't claim his reward. AC can't do enough attrition against it. And to be honest, needs to worry because the Panzer IV's here now. 
And a mine is detonated on a British target, I think. AC is caught out in the open. Needs to reverse all around the edges of the map. Panzer IV can hear him, so he's going to keep going for him. Hits him there. But here comes the Cromwell. Pack's been decreed elsewhere. That's not going to bode well. Panzer IV. Oh, hit in the rear, despite mostly facing his front. There's the pack that can decree. That's well out of reach of Jibber's army. Cromwell does a good job. Assault. Grenadiers could be next. Oh, Inca's seen it. There we go. They could have been crushed. Misses horrendously. Meanwhile, uh, the Royal Engineers are going for the Northern Victory Point. Sniper pushes up into an advantageous position to see if the Brit Sniper gets it. Look at that. Mm, yeah, the recon planes would be interesting, as uh, Jibba mentioned. As El Elpern mentions, rather. But I hate it when I'm casting one of them because it just whirls overhead incessantly. And it's very annoying. Jibber playing the Snipers the Code 2 way, the only way, which is to wait for support before you push it onto the field. So he's standing by this tree, eager, eager to hear my orders. That's an Irish accent, hang on. Purple burglar alarm. That's again an Irish accent. Can anybody in chat do a Scottish accent, please, for me? really like to some help here. Let's see if we've got stuck on Irish mode. Take your Tommy not helping there. I suppose it's difficult for a Frenchman to do a Scottish accent. That lucky boy that run well looking for a target. Assault officers had an interesting career so far in this game. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Three of <laughs> yeah. Yorkers. Has anybody ever been to Yorkers? That's again not a Scottish accent. I have had a brain problem. Ready and waiting. It's almost like the Scottish accent.x is just not accessible at the moment. The file's been corrupted, it would seem. Right, back in base for Inca. He's all down the field right now. He's in a pretty little line over here. He's garrisoned up this building. And he's playing like a typical territory. Wehrmacht player on Mill Road. He's trying to eke out an existence to win Game 3. And who can blame him? He wants that $300 and Co3 premium. Our position is under attack! The enemy is taking our territory. Friends and assault. Let's push in. They surprise the Vickers and delete the squad members, it would seem. There you go. But in turn, the Cromwell gets a second kill, firing upon them. Royal Engineers take the Vickers back. LMG Grenadier is putting the hurt down. There's been a counter snipe. Possible. Elpern thinks. Hmm. That wasn't quite in the picture. Let's see. Sector. Yep, Property, I would agree. You took a lot out of him earlier today, it would seem. And he certainly seems a little bit out of steam. Fortunately for him, he was able to steamroll Inca in game two, which basically means it's not as bad as it, as it otherwise could have been. Inca, meanwhile, played against Findeed earlier today. He, they did have one 40 minute game, which I'm sure was vaguely tiring, but probably not. So you, what you think he's doing, Doggy? You reckon he's going for the AVRE? It's highly possible, isn't it? Obviously he uses smoke. It was somewhat effective. Pushes into the centre. AVRE 
is not effective on target anymore. There you go. Has to use an ability in order to have any effect. You see, is being a bit mad. Jibbers loves doing this with his vehicles. Typical. Absolutely typical. Brit snipers firing from the north. Panzer IV pushes in. Hammer's being tapped, meaning he's going to comet next. Ah! Sniper just died and he rebuilt it. Literally looked away for a second and the artillery kills the sniper. He's very dead. So we just had the officer kill the sniper. Well played to Jibber, I suppose. Or Inca Una has a moment of lethargy and lets the sniper die. One or the other. Piet's not a bad choice, I suppose, Elka. Give him a little bit more. Oh, he's definitely going to need them now. The Panzer Elf J's on the field. I've just blocked that. We've got two kinds of Panzer IV now. Uh, meaning he's yeah he's going to be up against it quite a lot. Piets would help a lot on uh, these units. It's a good shout, Elper. Surprisingly effective. But the Comet will be soon. Comet's 165 fuel, I believe. Something like that. I should double check, actually. How much is the blighter? 175? Well, it is bloody good. For its sniper. It's need to fire. Oh. MG. Forced off. This mo his mortal coil. You see, has to reverse away, lest it die. Pack force is trying to open up on the MG. Can the officer recapture it? It's a close one. Oh, he gets it. Thanks to a fortuitous miss. The jibber of the Pack 40. When the comet comes out, I tell you, it'll be very close indeed. In fact, we're going to have a poll right now in chat who you think is going to win at this point in time. I just want a lull in activity. So just a 25 minute lull. There we go. I think they've just stopped moving uh, because hey, he needs very quick toilet breaks. Hang on a second. Poll is up. Who, what, who's winning the poll right now? Everybody thinks Sir Jibber is we're going to win. Commandant Inca's not getting many votes, but Inca has one or two things to say about that. Let's get back into this game now. As the Panzer Army is ready to strike very soon, the Pioneers with the Minesweeper are healing them as fast as they can. But the Comet's going to be on its way very soon from Jibber. He's 168 fuel. And counting. You reckon AVRE? Well, that'll be exciting. Let's all click it in anticipation. Oh, yes. Here he is. The Armoured Vehicle Royal Engineers is on the field. It's got a weird name, but a big-ass flying dustbin. The Spigot Round is a distinct possibility in Inca Una's future. And can he hear the rumble of thunder? Let's check it out from Jib Inca's perspective. This is his perspective right now. Can he hear that rumble? When will he hear it? When will he fear it? Oh! Oh dear. Something's going on in the fog of war. There it is! Get out of there, son! He, he hard retreats his units. No spigot was fired and no Germans were hurt in the making of that mini clip. It's all good. And we go back to manual control. No longer Inca Ula's perspective. 
because he knows what he's up against now. Maybe he's going to push in. Tommy's going to spot. The Cromwell's ready to rock and all roll. We've also got the six pounder ready to fire as well. Face that frontal armor. Six pounds going to fire there. He's going to push in possibly now. Oh dear. Back 40. What's the Avery's face? Exposing his rear. He's just having AT gun covering. Oh, was it worth it? He takes out the pack 40. The his target weak pointed was the last action of that pack 40. Aviori could die now, but oh no, he had the six pounder waiting. Here comes the, the AEC and Cromwell to save the day. Aviori is reloading. Panzer ready is sprint into pack 40 action. Snipers there ready to deep crew the pack. Can he get one more shot perhaps? No, he can't. Grenadiers nearly lose their lives as a result. Sniper is out of cloak. He knows the German sniper's been forced back, it would seem. And these pioneers have a hell of a lot of work to do because Jibber has forced Inca entirely off the field. Last thing I can see in chat is Reup says, okay, Jibber has thrown. Well, what we didn't know when we were looking at that picture, Reup, I accidentally hit uh, a random button there. What do you eat when we were looking at this is the six pounder, it wasn't the only thing. The AC was coming. So the six pounder did have the angle cover, but the AC was pushing up the center. So it wasn't as bad as we thought it is the basic situation. Enemy there. threatening a capture point. Eviori is ready to fire again. Why is this guy still going? And what will Inca Una be doing next? Maybe he'll go for the Tiger Race. 250 fuel, perhaps. Victory point wise, he has a hell of a lot left in the tank, so it's very possible. <laughs> Reops thinks Stug and Stug and Game. Well, we'll have to wait and see about that. Churchill just dodged a shot. That's uh, very nimble for such a, a big beast. Looking to fire through these bushes. Tutor Tutor doesn't like it. <laughs> he gets out of it. Ah, there we go. The AEC has now become a command AC, giving him access to command vehicle air support. 50 munitions. And he's going to use it. Let's get on board with him. Ah, oh, we need to take fog off this. To take uh, point. There we go. Vision of all of the army and reveal snipers, by the way, just an FYI. The capture point is being overrun. For as long as it's active, but the pinnacle mounts on the two M uh, Panzer IVs certainly dealt with that. Oh, we've got assault grenades sprinting into action. Throwing assault grenades, but having to assault back to base. I think so, Falcon Nero. I think he's going for the the big tiger tonk. Is that is very strong. In the centre, meanwhile, the Cromwell with a disappointing amount of kills on the four surveys the situation as the uh, Royal Engineer of Recovery Sappers push in. There we go. Prioritize vehicle mode. Can't oh, penetrate the Panzer IV and backs away. There's a good amount of damage to the Grenadier. However, AC pushes in. He can somehow penetrate the Panzer, even though he has a smaller cannon. Good figure. Oh, a Panther from Inca. That's an interesting choice. Aviori has seven kills and is. Hasn't fired his second round for a while. Maybe now he will. But he is going to be up against the Panther. Ooh, he's coming in. Oh, he got shot at there. He's luring the Panzer IV into oncoming rounds. Giving better reload speed for the uh, six-pounder there. That helps a lot. Fire 
Sorry for many bee bastards. Yeah, he's got a command A, you see, Paul. I've already mentioned it, mate. Here comes the Panzer Campfire. I can turn for the Panzer. Pinpoint on his crushing bushes. Will he crush Jibble's dreams? Oh, AVRE gets a shot off on the Panzer IV. And Vetracy 1 as a result, giving him more speed. I think. Something like that. Yeah, I think so. To be honest, he can crush all of these bushes, the AVRE, should he desire. Giving him better access to coverage of the central victory points. And for pushes in. 75 mil long barrel. Looking for a shot on the AVRE. Bounces harmlessly off the frontal arm and off the panther. Sloped as it is. Jib has controlled the central victory point for a while, despite being down on victory points. So the comeback looks possibly on. The mortar has been built. It's not been talked about though. Four kills, and uh, it could be good for smoke perhaps to claim back the central victory point. He's gone for hammer, Paul. I think we've got the war speed, mate. Mortar, again, but this time for Jibber has claimed his four kills as well. So we're not talking about the mortars, but in the meantime, each has gotten four kills. You could also get some 9.75 inch, very specific, 9 and 3 quarters inch flame mortar support from a jibber. Should he really want to brutalize the three support weapons Inca has? This is really going to end in a bang. We're going to have a massive end to this game 3. I really feel we are all on to your pantaloons, gentlemen, and possible ladies. Penetration for the Panzer. He's pushing in. He wants to kill this Cromwell. One more shot should do it. And he gets it. That was really good from Inca. But where's the counter punch from Jibber? It's not coming. What he does have coming is a comet. Meanwhile, the six pounder might die. Aviore pushes in. He's close quarters with that. And he misses horrendously with the Aviore. Horrendous shot there. And the six pounders down. Inca's looking for the kill. He's coming back with a vengeance. Royal Engineers could die in the meantime. Yes, they get focus fired. What great micro from the Romanian. Aviari in peril. Panther could finish him off. Panzer Ball could finish the Royal Engineers off. Everything's dying here. We do have a damaged engine on the Panther. One more shot should do it. Aviari's going to cower behind the bushes. Panzer Ball's going to fire on the medic. Geneva Convention's been ripped up. By the Germans. Comet could save the day. AVRE dies thanks to the Panzer IV. And that crew member is off map now. He's got a damaged engine on the Panzer IV though. The medic squad really needs to get within the base confines. Here comes the Comet. Big shot from the Comet. It's a damaged engine. He's done for. There's another damaged engine, Panzer IV. But here comes the stolen six-pounder and stolen Panzer IV. Jibber has nothing left other than a Comet. Can he finish off the Panzer IVs, then get rid of the AT guns? I really doubt it. This is game, set and match for Inca Una. He's hurtling towards the semi-finals. Jibber's lost another squad. It's all done for. Well played. What a finish to this game. The Wolves are at the door. And uh, Jibber's wishing on a shooting star, it would seem. Nice push, says Christopher Heard Bud. But the game's all said and done. Grab your friends, it's time to see a little bit more variety. With one of each and every unit, it's the diversity. Oof, what a game! What a series!
What are YouTube upload? Ever say hi to YouTube and uh, collect your channel points? If the moderator that could start the prediction end the prediction, that would be mightily beneficial. I'm going to suggest to the players if I can get consensus, um, I'll try and do semi-finals as best of fives, and then maybe the grand final next weekend. Uh, I'm really digging that idea. Um, I might just insist upon it. To be honest, let's ask the players though, just to make sure. We've got Jibber versus Isildur. We've got possibly Elpern, possibly Markov, I believe. Or is it Pax? It's Pax, it's Pax. Elpern, Pax. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Let's just get the brackets open, shall we? That's a bloody good idea. Um, Orange Pest, of course. There you go. Orange. We've got Isilda. We've got Inkar. Then we've got Alpern and Pax. Let's create group DM and then ask these guys. So basically, I'll ask the players if they want best of five semi-finals, and then we'll have a best of five the following weekend on either Saturday or Sunday. And we'll also do Commander Terminator in the best of fives going forward. Uh, I think that's the best idea. So we'll put that on the brackets now. Um, let's do it. Just add a little uh, thing in here. So this is Saturday 26th. Uh, Same Z's. Should just copy that to be honest. And then we'll do best of five. Best of five. Do Sunday, May seventh. And then we'll do I'll just do next weekend. Um because I don't know the exact date yet. I think that makes sense, right? Ah, Commander Terminator. Oh, let's make it one more row big. It's Commander Terminator for the series, though. Um... I'll just call it four series. Commander Terminator four series. There we go. It's better. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Yeah, that's a fine looking bracket. Let's update everything. Uh, two nil to Inca Una, to one to Inca Una rather. There we go. Uh, he's through. Orange Pest. Elpern Pax is next. Who's casting that then? The only other caster today has been Kimber Mad Slicio. Might just have to host him at this rate. Twitch. Dirty Kimbo Pulis. Nope. Whoever wants to cast Elpern versus Pax can do so. Yes, they do want to cast, but if they don't want to cast anymore, I'll have to find someone else. Someone just called me. Bling, bling, bling.
Good. Okay, good. Let's let him do that then. Right then, guys. That's been fun. We'll wait for somebody else to um, put the their OBS on, and then we'll host them. Just add something. I don't need to see that. All good. It's been a great day, hasn't it? We've had a good time. Hmm. Oh, I need to correct something in game. Hang on a second. Apparently, someone's reported that when it says zero, the right score isn't aligned perfectly. And to be honest, I'd just like to apologize for this. Um, all I can do is apologize. And I'm going to try my hardest to fix it now. I'm going to get my eyes really close to the screen. I'm going to see if that's done it. I believe... I believe it's symmetrical. Can anyone confirm the zeros are now symmetrical in their boxes? I'll print screen it and send it to GB Pirate, who reported it as a major problem with the tournament. And I agree, it was. And hopefully it's now fixed. Oh, I have to unban him. Oh. Lol. On ban, Kimbo. Hmm. Is he ready to host now? Does this mean you're going to talk live on air, Isilda? Because that's hilarious. If so, I can't wait to listen to that. Imagine you sound very smug. Good. All right. Raiding. Everybody, thank you for watching. Thank you for donating. Thank you for playing. Thank you for being yourselves. Let's uh, go and. Thank you, GB Pirate. We can sign off now. Everything is in order. Right, hang on. Kim. Kimbo. Pulos. Cheers, guys. We're raiding the puncher of noses, the, the receiver of many bans, and a damn Oh, it says permanent ban. <laughs> I just saw that. What the fuck? <laughs> You gotta uh, just uh, well, start watching the same time. It's not gonna be a big issue. You remember raiding? When now here we go. Have a good I mean, uh, evening, uh, guys. Kimbo, you can just do something like uh, just you know you you can just uh, go into them and stream on the Discord. Uh, so it's just a very small delay. Yeah, I re just, actually. Uh, go into them and stream on the Discord. You just you just stream for us. So it's just a very small delay. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what am I talking about? In Co One people to cast replays they had to sync it so like th there was not create observer party so i'm talking about that yo thanks for the host eh? appreciate it hello guys i'm new to the community i'm for i'm kimbo first time playing this game don't know the community i'm isildur isildur isn't that the guy uh, who won the 4v4 tournament? Yeah, he won a few 4v4 tournaments actually. A few 2v2. No Only shot. Only Nagano carried him. No shot. You sure you're not impersonating, mate? No. Mate. I'm impersonating Isildur. No. I actually never say the word Isildur. Sounds weird just to say it. <laughs> person <in> chat. 
<laughs> Bro, you need to start again. Should we not just cast Dirty Finisher versus Dr. Jekyll? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that king slobber knocker. Where Dirty Finisher is, by the way. Proper redneck. This is Put Put, I saw the vial, and Dr. Jekyll. How can that guy win? He's just not gonna win, is he? Guy. Oh, look at that, it's Van Ivan. Well, Van Ivan's online. Look oh. at this, this is the Redemption Kimbo stream, yeah! Yeah. Oh, Van Ivan in chat. I love you, John. Mr. John Hodgson. <laughs> hey, Dougie. You need to keep us up to date with the World Cup scores. <laughs> it's redemption all cap. It's Argentina, Mexico. <laughs> Are they playing today? I have no fucking idea what's going on there, actually. Yeah, they're playing like 20 minutes. I don't even know France beat uh, Denmark. Look at that, Kylian Mbappe with two. Mm -hmm.